This is next level for dioramas. I am changed forever. Yo everybody, this is Rocker the Great, aka the Toy Bookie, and in today's video, I am like the most excited. This thing I just stumbled across changed the way I'm gonna do dioramas from here on out. So if you're interested in my dioramas and you're into my dioramas, this is gonna be a thing that we're gonna just see everything change. And I'm currently working on a 112th scale huge train. But the thing about the train is it's from the 80s. It's like an 80s style train for my Warriors Mezco figures. Or I, I really love 80s movies, so it could work with any of my 80s movie action figures because uh, the trains are different in the 80s and the graffiti, believe it or not, is different in the 80s. It's different than the graffiti you see now on your walls and stuff. So I wanted to do a little bit of a period piece and what an 80s trains have is tons of graffiti. So I kind of was wrapping my brain around how am I going to do this graffiti on this train. I've been wanting an airbrush but they're kind of expensive and I know it's like a weird thing to just jump into something new. It's not easy for everyone. And my wife goes, I have an airbrush but I use it for my cookie stuff. I was like, let's try it. So I'm actually in this video using an airbrush, but with cookie uh, flavoring or, or like, you know, she does the designs on the cookies. So it's like, it's some sort of like a, whatever it is, it works and it dries and it's great. So this same video could be used for a normal airbrush, but that's like more of an enamel thing and, and it's hard to clean I hear and everything, but for what, I don't know what I stumbled on, but right now this works and I'm gonna show you a bunch of dioramas that I was spray painting with. I, I'm doing graffiti with this airbrush. I'm doing uh, shadowing, I'm doing dirt, I'm doing detail work. This, the airbrush is crucial to dioramas and I am so excited that I stumbled across, across this thing and uh, let's stop even talking about it. We're, this video we're just going to be showing you a bunch of cool things you could do with airbrushes and just to make your dioramas go to the next level. So here we go, get ready for it. It's just like this is amazing, I am addicted. So here's like a clean piece. So I'm just going to show you with just a little bit of black with the airbrush and this isn't even going to go. And with the graffiti and everything, oh man, I, as you can tell, I am super excited. So, like that was me trying to do graffiti with a marker instead of an airbrush. Now, this is on a roller gate. Like if you're spray painting a roller gate in real life, you're gonna, you can't roller it. You're gonna have to spray the paint onto a roller gate because it won't get in the indents. So, it's gonna look so much more realistic when I do it with this. Now, just watch. Uh, I have it on a really low setting, there's all different settings, and uh, again, I'm just learning this as I'm going, so, nice and slow, look at that, already, it just looks so much more realistic, and this is messy, but if you get better at it, look at that. You can add those fades. I'm gonna, let's do, uh, what, what can I write? Rocky, I'm gonna write Rocky, that's, my name is Rocco, I'm gonna write Rocky right now. You could do other stuff, not just the graffiti, I'm gonna show you guys some shading techniques, like, Look, you just shade the sides, and I would do this with like uh, browns and stuff also for dirt, but I'm just showing you just like, just a little bit of the black just to show you what it does. Now look, look on the bottom, right? Watch, watch the bottom. Because this is where the paint would come off the most, like people kicking it and like just being used a lot. You get in the crevices. Look at that shadows. Oh man, I am so, I cannot wait to make more dioramas with this. I am super excited. I'm about to airbrush every diorama I ever made. All the stuff you guys seen on the channel is getting an airbrush right now. Thank goodness for this quarantine. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going airbrush crazy right now. Here, let's just see like, just like a black, just black dirt right there. Look at that. It's already starting to look more realistic. 
And uh, with my dioramas, I, I try to make them look realistic. Some people do like that cartoony style. Uh, if you're like a Marvel Legends collector, those are some bright outfits and stuff. So, you know, you would do more of a realistic, uh, more of a cartoony diorama with that, like a cleaner. Uh, but I like more of the movie figures, NECA figures. So realistic dioramas is more up my alley. Wow. Just look. These gates are usually real dirty and beat up. Get a little bit of shadow under there. Very cool. Look at that. Just look at the difference it makes, you know? And I like that this is kind of like a glossy look a little bit. So it looks like it's like wet and dirty. Like, if anyone's ever been to New York here, everything's always wet. I don't know why, but if you've ever been to New York, especially in the morning or like at night, you just, everything looks wet. Probably, uh, you know, it's probably, uh, bumpus, but it gives that authentic, uh, <laughs> feeling of that, that authentic bum New York piss right there. Look at that, in the details right there. Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invest in, like, a really nice, uh, airbrush. Look at that. Just look at the difference already. And I'm going to get better with the, with the graffiti with this. It's easy to shadow, but doing the graffiti letters is a little bit harder um, to get, because I'm still learning the airbrush itself. But uh, maybe I would do it on the higher power one, right? Because I'm on the lowest setting right now, so... Look at that. Oh, am I running? Yeah, just do a big splutch right here. Splutch? Look at that. Ooh, it looks like too much of this might eat the fabric, so don't go too heavy on this. The light is good enough for... Well, you know what? The walls are not ever uh, super neat anyway, so it's good enough for me. Look at that. Get in that crevice right there. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Look at the, just look at the details right there. Look at that bottom. All right, let's do more. Hold on. So, we'll take this out. Here, this should be easy to see. I have a door from a bigger diorama. And as you can see, I tried doing some shadowing with actual spray paint. Like, that's an actual spray can, life-size spray can. And I sprayed it from far away to try to give it that, like, airbrush look but let's see with some airbrush how it looks looking nicer already now that's gonna be dirty so there might be a little s splotch around the the handle there you go and probably from the water dripping, there'd be a splotch over here coming down from this. There you go. Just maybe a little bit of... And it might have a tag. Let's try and do a tag. Uh, mode, let's try. This is the max mode. Let's see. There we go. Okay, you ready? I'm going to try a tag right now. Not too bad. Let's see. Uh, look at that. Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. If you're if you've ever done graffiti, you need one of these airbrush things. They're so cool. Look at this. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna do another tag. There we go. Now I would do a few uh, smaller tags, like a marker tag on here, just so it's not all uh, spray paint on the door. Look at that. 
very good. Oh, this thing is so cool. This is the airbrush song. This is the song for the end of the video. So it's not just music and you get bored. So I am talking to you. I am using a food coloring airbrush for a diorama project. Just do what you got in the house to make your project better. And I'm doing this with some food coloring and it came out pretty good. I was happy with the results. Yes, I was having a lot of fun. Oh, oh, ooh. Doing graffiti with food products is a very interesting thing to do and I just have fun when you're doing projects every day or else why are you doing them having fun doing dioramas every day is the coolest thing that you can do I love to dirty up stuff it makes the dioramas look just so much better adding graffiti to a train diorama and some buildings you could have fun every day dioramas are great do 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 thank everybody for coming along and thank you for sticking around this long and I, I hope uh, I didn't scare anybody away with my singing but uh, we have fun on this channel, and I guarantee you won't get anybody else singing about dioramas. So, uh, I, I, or his coming, it's coming back. Dun, dun. This is the airbrush song for the end of the video. Alright everybody, as you can see, I went a little crazy with the airbrush. I was having so much fun. This went on for a very long time. Uh, thank everybody for watching. I hope you guys uh, found something helpful here. I do have a Patreon. A Patreon is a way for you guys to support me. You can give me a little bit of money. I do do a lot of this content for free, so it does help uh, make me make more content, and it also helps make me put money back into the videos and give you guys better quality videos. So I appreciate all my Patreons so far. Definitely link down below if you want to join. There will be uh, stuff that you guys also get you know, besides just helping the channel. So, thanks everybody. This is Rock with Great, aka The Toy Bookie, and we are signing out. Peace. Do you like toy photography? Do you like tricks and tips? Then follow me over at, at The Toy Bookie on Instagram. Are you into art? Graphic design? Sexy Rocco? Follow me at Rocco the Great. Bye.